Transmission Rebuild Day, and I'm here to talk about my frustrations with this overdrive. You have to disengage overdrive while the clutch pedal is depressed, and it's in bold here because when that doesn't happen, it's gonna get hung up when you try to remove it. Um, to facilitate removal, the vehicle should first be driven with the overdrive engaged and then with it disengaged with the clutch pedal depressed. They don't say if you roll to a stop or if you can just drive it normally after that until you come to a stop or if you have to just overdrive, clutch pedal in, boom, roll into the garage. That could be difficult. But I think the point is it keeps the pressure off of the uh, annulus and the one-way clutch, unidirectional clutch. So right now I'm thinking it's bound up in there somewhere. So I have removed so, so many things trying to get this out. And it's really frustrating because the entire transmission is not coming apart. I have removed all of the studs here, which is where it's supposed to separate. I have removed the bolts here and, and it kind of wobbles and it stresses all these gears because it starts to move the main shaft. But the um, eccentric on the shaft is here and it needs to disconnect from the pump I've gotten all the pump components out. You know, everything Everything is removed. And the scary thing is these three pieces were down at the bottom of that. And it turns out that those are 25, 26, and 24 right there. These guys are the non-return ball valve spring and plug. And oops, if those are missing, then that means overdrive never worked. So it's a good thing I'm in here, but the solution to a stuck overdrive is to take and assemble everything at the bottom with the solenoid in place here inside of this plug which is when it's all connected it's just this little plug here with the copper washer inside of there you'll put a grease gun and you'll engage the solenoid and you'll apply pressure with the grease um, or an oil gun I mean and then that oil should disconnect all the components in there the only problem is with my non-return ball uh, I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to get that to work. So I've been continuing to remove and hammer and remove and hammer and pry and pry and pry. I can get a quarter inch here, 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 or on this side of it, but nothing else. So my next attempt here is to try and get this guy to go all the way through so that I can remove this housing. There's one bearing in here. There's another bearing somewhere in the middle along that casing. That second bearing is here, 114. And it's more of a press fit, so... Oh wait, that 114 is the outer bearing. It's 111. And um, I've already got the speedometer removed, so like that's the only thing I can think of, is trying to get this guy out. And it wouldn't budge, so it's like really stuck in there. Um, here's hoping now with these studs out, it'll be a little bit easier. I got like another hour, but let me tell you, I started at 8 p.m. last night. I was like, yeah, it should be all apart by midnight. 4 a.m., and it still wasn't. Blech. Here's all my forks, labeled right, middle, and left. All right, a spot of good news. Finally got this out. What was the matter with you? The worst part was having to put a screwdriver in here because I don't like damaging the casing, but oh my goodness. This is the unidirectional clutch, and it's made to spin one way. Feels okay, and not the other way. Boy, I really beat up on this thing. Uh, I hope it's okay. This flange is like a little bit of a bend to it. We're gonna be gooping it up pretty good with some more TV. It looks like it's hung up on the pump. Yep. Might be having to order a new pump. As the transmission rotates, that pump right there in the middle, up and down and up and down, it's an eccentric, and it is stuck somehow on the shaft. So that was why it's all hung up. And with the amount of, oh my goodness, the amount of banging, I would take this entire thing, I would take the whole transmission and I would just slam it down on the end shaft, trying to get this to break loose so I'm sure whatever I did out of frustration made it a little bit worse but I'm just keeping it real with you guys it was tough um, and that didn't help so finally getting those studs out really worked because I looked at my old videos where I have rebuilt this before and I looked at other video or other photos and forums and people are like yeah put in the pump and you know manually pump pressure through here no no fun because um, that requires reassembling the entire thing and filling it with oil and I just didn't have like 
helpers to help with like one person holding the hose and the pump, the other person operating a drill to keep the input shaft spinning, all that. So anyway, release, release. Okay, now that's it. This is out and it's exactly what we were thinking. It was stuck on the pump on the eccentric somehow. I'm not sure why or where until we pull it out more, but I just want to grab some photos here. See that eccentric? That's what operated the pump here through the hole here. discovered what was holding this up for the entire uh, pump assembly and that's the fact that this has a little bit of wiggle left to right you can see in there and there's a pin that drives through the center of the pump and you can kind of you see it's got that much adjustment so what I ended up having this piece here with that little wiggle is binding up on the valve kind of a collar or sleeve whatever that is in there so when this is sitting inside of the overdrive boom it was essentially not going to mate it with that because the back side of this was sticking out too much so what i had to do is hammer it until it's flush with this side here because as it sticks out you could see some of the little parts there where it I don't know, became self-clearancing or rubbed a little bit, but it was gonna wear out unevenly, but I'm happy to have that adjusted nicely. So now I can just put this inside and wiggle it in place, make sure it's all moved up, out of boom. So there's our smooth pump, very nicely clearanced. Okay, here's a fun one. Um, in addition to working and getting kind of tight here, he'll manage. Uh, the mating of the overdrive, it's sensitive because they gotta mate the clutch and this shaft, which can take a lot of work, but you wanna do it without messing up the gasket too much. So speaking of the gasket, every gasket kit that I've received comes with two of these. This one's a slightly smaller diameter, but it has all the cuts in the right spaces. It's got a little cut here, 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 four of them. This one here is a little bit bigger, it's flat, and I had to make the cuts because this one was just too tight. It was like stretching the paper and causing a wrinkle, and when that happens, as you bolt it down, that wrinkle becomes a tear. I thought it was shrunk, but uh, this one actually fits a little bit better, so I just took a razor blade and made a few cuts. Here we go. Two people to rebuild these locally. One, I think, does not put our TV in the other one, I think, does. Fingers crossed. Starting to engage. Yes! Oh, beautiful.
beautiful. <laughs> All right, small victory. Wonderful. Uh, probably a big victory, if I'm being honest. Let's, let's get them nuts on there. Now, you're supposed to wait a few minutes with that RTB, but, you know, the uh, X factor here was getting everything to uh, cooperate, so... So it comes a little wet, but that's all right. day the silicone has cured and this thing weighs 120 pounds <laughs> 